How's it going, everyone? How you doing? Oh, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joshi KD. Long hair. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting into week five of the Elite Battle League. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is the final week of the regular season. Um, as of right now, knowing some of the other results from this week, um, it, it kind of matters whether we win this match or not. Regardless, I'm going to try. Obviously, I'm going to make sure that we can still walk away with a dub. Um, but much like last week, the pressure is very much alleviated, especially after last week. The pressure is very much alleviated off of us. Um, so regardless, we're still going to try. Uh, I'm a little afraid of some of the things that Mike can do. I'm, I'm going to be honest, but uh, I think we got a good plan and we're just going to kind of rock it. We're going to go for it. We're going to play this match. We're going to have some fun. Um, so of course, be sure to check out Mike in the description. Go subscribe to him. Go watch his point of view. Um, and of course check out all the other coaches in the elite battle league So you do not miss a single match in the league all matches go up every single Saturday So be sure to check out all the other coaches so you don't miss a single one and of course check out all the other uh, All the other links in the description um, So for Mike, I will say uh, He hasn't changed his movesets for the first four weeks um, So if this is the week he doesn't change his moves I'm gonna be a little upset, <laughs> or if this is the week he changes his moods, I'm gonna be a little, a little, just, just a little bit upset. Um, but regardless, we got our. I'm prepped for things uh, outside of the stuff he normally brings, um, so I am prepped for a lot of the other things he might bring um, if he does decide to change his move sets and all that good stuff. So I'm prepped for that. Um, but regardless, we're gonna get in there. We're gonna get our game plan. And go ahead and try and get uh, a win to end off the regular season. Um, so I'm going to get all hooked up with Mike. And then we're going to be good to go. I'll see you guys in a second. All right. We found Mike. Again, I can't stress this enough. Sorry, Michael. <laughs> I can't stress this enough. Check out Mike in the description. And go check out his point of view. Oh, okay. Let's see what team he's... Hopefully he picks the right... Oh, he's going to let me decide the rules. <laughs> if you guys don't know, last week he did play uh, Jakey, Jakey XY, who's another competitor you guys should check out. Um, and he accidentally said it. Single battle, no restrictions, which meant they were playing at level 100. <laughs> so uh, it's not surprising that he let me have that one. Um, so it's not Nate the Great this week. Not the Pitch Missioner. Not the Pepperoni Man. Not La Puerta. It is El Rapio. <laughs> Mike the quick um, So for this match, we're gonna be leading Rotom I feel like it's just a safe switch or a safe lead for us. Uh, no legendary shenanigans this week um, So if he doesn't bring if I see any of the three Pokemon, I didn't think he would bring Okay, I see one of them. I see a zoom roll. Okay, so he has Cinderace Glare Manitone a zoom roll a zoom roll Excadrill Groudon and Zero Aura Okay. He did not bring Incineroar. So that is a big plus for us. Much like Landon. <laughs> he did not bring Incineroar, which means a plus for us. I promise I'm paying attention to the teams this time. <laughs> so we're going to go Rotom. Depending on what he leads, we're going to hit a hit a move and see what happens. Um, so let's see what he leads. Let's, let's see what he leads here. That's what's important. His freaking lead card, dude. <laughs> Every, every match I've watched this season, I just laugh every time I see the lead card. <laughs> let's see, let's see. What does he lead? Groudon? Cinderace, okay. That's A-OK -okay with me. That is actually A-OK -okay with me. He's going to U-turn, probably. He's probably going to U-turn. Um, I can't burn... Cin well, he probably won't use the Fire-type move on us. And he's probably going to U-turn. So I'm going to click Will-O-Wisp. We're going to click... Yeah. Okay. So we should be able to get a free Will-O-Wisp on anything. Hopefully. I mean, hopefully it hits. Knock on wood. That's that's some good... That's a nice chunk of damage. Not going to lie. He's going to go to Groudon or Excadrill. No. Azumarill. Azumarill. No. He has, a, he has a few options. He has a few options. <laughs> he has a few options. However, his entire team is physical. So a Will-O-Wisp... Again, please, RNG gods. Please, please, this would actually be massive. Please, 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 please. We miss. No, dude. We have to hit it again. We have to. We have to. That's, oh, that sucks. That really, really, really sucks. Okay, we hit the second one, though. He's going to bulk up, probably. 
Book up. Yeah. We're gonna go to Lapras. Tempting the Gigantamax, honestly. We're gonna go to Lapras. He needs to get up another bulk up. The problem is we don't we can't really hit him with anything. Um Or Or no, I kind of got to save you for... So there's a good chance he kept the same movesets. I got to save you for uh, Zero Aura. We're going to go to you. We'll probably set up a Reflect first, honestly. We can set up a... I think we will have free range to set up a Reflect. Fire Punch is going to do a nice chunk, though. It'll do a nice chunk. He bulks up again. That's fine. He's probably going to attack. He's definitely going to outspeed us, which is which is... I would say it's fine, but it's kind of not really. But a reflect is going to help us a lot. So we're going to reflect up here. Does he switch? I feel like he switches to Zero Aura here. I feel like he switches to Zero Aura here. No, he stayed in. Precipice Blades. That's going to do a nice chunk. Uh, a little less than I thought it would have done. Honestly, not going to lie. I did a little less than I would have thought. So the reflect up, which means essentially the attack boost he just got are back to nil. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and ice beam. He didn't bring Dracovish, so freeze dry is a little pointless. I guess Azumarill. Um, he might see a water type move coming and switch to Azumarill. Maybe. <laughs> if he Dynamaxes early, I think we win. Even if we lose like one or two Pokemon, I think we win. Honestly. Much like Alan last week. He withdrew. Okay. So whatever comes in is gonna take a nice ice beam here. Azumarill. Darmanitan. Superpower. 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 Brick Break. Unless he brought Brick Break this week. If he brought Brick Break, that is a big brain play. Iron Head. Flare. Oh, uh. Probably Superpower. Me thinks. A nice, a nice serve. I mean, it's fine. If Lapras goes down, Lapras goes down. Superpower, yeah, it's fine. We live one. If you want, I mean, if he wants to hit Superpower again, that actually helps us a lot. Because then I could send in Zashin. So if he wants the superpower again, that is a okay with me. I'm, I'm not going out. We don't kill it. That actually might help us. I'm going to let him kill us. We're going to let him kill us. Because Zashin could come in. Ten. Super. We're going to go to Zashin. We're going to Swords Dance. We get up a free Swords Dance. We get up a free Swords Dance free i think the reflect is up for one more turn the reflect is up for one more turn i think we'll double check it right now yes has to be one more turn perfect so we we can a hundred thousand percent take a hit and i think close combat runs free on his team what can this thing even do to us he didn't switch i'm gonna get up another source net he didn't switch I'm gonna get up another source dance. That's that's the only thing that can stop us now is is uh I'm gonna get up another source dance. The only thing that could really stop us is possibly Zero Aura. But now close combat runs free on his team. We have Solar Blade for the Groudon. I think that's GG's. That should be a reverse sweep, hopefully. Knock on wood, nothing crazy happens. Should I get I'm gonna get greedy. You guys might call me out on this. I don't care. I'm going to make sure everything on his team gets destroyed. We're going to Swords Dance one more time. That's whatever, because I one-shot everything. That's GG's. Sarah Aura outspeeds me. So I think we're going to try and play rough this thing. So we're plus six. A plus six Zashin does a lot of work. The only thing that can stop us is the Zero Aura. That's it. And if this player misses. <laughs> so, Zashin, play rough, Darmanitan. This was a scenario I really, really wanted to happen. He's, whatever he sends in next is going to Dynamax. Whatever he sends in next is, is going to Dynamax. 100%. But I think we one-shot just about everything on his team. We outspeed everything but the Zero Aura. So we're going to close combat here. Not should kill.
I think that's it. I think that's it. I mean, zero. Like I said, I keep saying it. Zero or is the only thing that hurts us. It's the only thing. Hopefully, he sends in Groudon on the Dynamaxes. That actually would be perfect. If he sends in Groudon on the Dynamaxes, that is perfect. Cinderace. Okay. Is he gonna Dynamax this thing? We outspeed. We're gonna CC. Zashin actually might go down to the to the um, zero aura. We're minus two. We don't outspeed. But his major threats, well, some of his major threats are out. Like at at this point now. Well, Groudon still kind of prevents uh, Naganadel from getting off a poison type move, but you know. If he goes to Zero Aura, I'm half tempted to switch. Not gonna lie. I'm half tempted to switch. He's gonna fake out. He always fake outs. <laughs> uh, we'll just CC again. We'll stay in. There's no point in switching. We're plus six. He's gonna fake out. Good. That lets me know that Runerigus controls this thing. Which actually... You know what? We're gonna switch. I know we're plus six, but... I know Zero Aura gets controlled by this thing right here. I know that for a fact. Yeah, looks like he has the same moveset, so he, can, he literally cannot touch me. And... We can get off a free EQ on whatever comes in. Should I double back on the switch? <laughs> double back on the switch, go to Pan. That wouldn't be the worst idea, because he might go to Azumarill. Yeah, we'll double back on the switch. We'll go to we'll go to Alicia. Azumaro? Azumaro. Perfect. Perfect. Perfecto. He knew we couldn't touch us, so we double switch into the Leafeon. Hmm. We should out speed. We should out speed. Does he go to... Does he go back into Zero Aura? I like the hat, by the way. <laughs> I barely noticed it. We got him on the back foot, for sure. Withdraws. If he goes to Groudon, that's a big hit for us. That's a big hit for us. He's, he's burn and he has no attack boost. This is a massive hit. He's going to Fire Punch. I don't think we outspeed. I don't think we outspeed. We kill! Let's go, Rifion! Let's go! Alright, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Uh, whatever. Oh, this, I don't care if we end up sweeping. It's whatever. It, it, it is honestly whatever. Um, he's gonna fake out. <laughs> he's gonna fake out. So we're just gonna go to Thanatos again. Thanatos just shuts this thing down. If he double, he didn't double switch. He would have. He would have switched first. So he's gonna fake out. Beautiful. He has to Dynamax Zero. Uh, not Zero or Zoom Roll. He has to Dynamax Azumaro, which is not good for him. We're going to get off an EQ, I think. We're going to get off an EQ. We're going to get off an EQ, because it's just Azumaro and Zero Aura left. He has to Dynamax Azumaro. Because if he Dynamaxes Zero Aura, I just wall it with, uh, with Thanatos. That did a nice chunk. That did about half. He's going to Dynamax. He's gonna Dynamax. So I think we the sweep is over. <laughs> the dream is over. I think we'll let I think we let Thanatos go and let Big Weedle come in and finish this. Yeah. Hate to break the reverse sweep, but it is what it is. Uh we're gonna let Thanatos go and let Azumaro come in and finish or not Azumaro. He didn't Dynamax. Okay. Wow, we ate that. Thank you for your huge power. This is gonna kill for sure. <laughs> and he can't touch me, so that's GG's. 
Thank you for the huge power. <laughs> EQ, Azu, and then Runrigus. Yeah, his his Zero Aura can't touch me. His Zero Aura can't touch me. So that's the reverse sweep. That is the reverse sweep. Is he gonna Dynamax? Because I don't think he changed his moves, so. There's no point in Dynamaxing. <laughs> CC. Yeah, you can't touch me, so. EQ should kill. <laughs> Sorry, do I seem cocky? I don't want to seem cocky. <laughs> I don't want to seem too cocky. It's just. This worked out. The Dermanitan superpowering was exactly the one of the scenarios I really, really, really wanted. Um, and it worked out. So we get a 6 1 victory. We go 5 and 0 oh in the regular season. However. That means, of course, I love his lead card. That means absolutely nothing if we go out first round of the playoffs. So um, we do uh, finish in first place, which is great. But again, a 5-0 record is nothing if we get bounced in the first round of the playoffs. So our job's not done. We're playing whoever wins the playing match. So fourth or fifth place. Not quite sure who that is going to be yet. Um, so, we, But we play the winner of the playing match. So it's going to be really interesting. And again, I mean, that 5-0 record is fantastic on paper. But it means absolutely nothing if we go out in the playoffs. I would, could care less about going five and zero if we go out first round in the playoffs. So, this is where the real the real strategies come to play. This is where we really step it up and go big. Um, this is when it really counts. So, I'm really pumped to get into the playoffs. I'm I, I'm don't get me wrong. I'm happy to go five and zero. Good uh, GG is Mike. Um, but regardless, I I just I it's irrelevant. If <laughs> it's irrelevant if we go out first round. So uh, I'm still going to try and carry this momentum into the playoffs. And we're just going to keep trucking on. Um, but thank you guys so much for supporting us so far. We're heading into the playoffs. We got a bye week, which means there's no match for me next week. Uh, there are going to be uh, two matches on four channels. So be sure to check out those four channels. Um, and then and then the following week, we will be resuming uh, action. So this is going to be really intense. It's going to be really incredible the, the season has been crazy <laughs> absolutely nuts um but the playoffs this is what it really counts so i can't wait to get into it uh i can't wait to get into the, all this the fun action um and again gg's mike he did a, a good job he i just caught him in the right uh and, and well the worst situation wait, worst situation for him best situation for me so you know it is what it is but gg's to mike nonetheless and th again, thank you guys for supporting the LA Inferno through the regular season as we head into the playoffs. Um, and I'll, as always, check out all the other coaches in the description so you don't miss a single match. They're uploaded every single Saturday. So check them out uh, and check out all the other socials in the description. Follow and subscribe if necessary. It's all greatly appreciated. And of course, for sure, share socials with our friends, family, everyone you know. Let people know. Lonely Hermits where it's at. See you guys in the next one. Bye.